that's the thing with AliExpress. Every time I go onto this site, I immediately see something I want to buy without fail. I keep hearing all over the internet that after like a year and a half, it is finally safe for us to crawl out of our gamer caves and bow at the knee to the gods of PC hardware consumerism. And today, uh, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna head onto the internet and we're gonna bow hard. Uh, so, <laughs> so with that, let's get into it. Now in today's video, I want to focus on the pre-built market because we know that graphics card prices are down. You can actually go and buy a graphics card without mortgaging your children out. So that, that's all good things. But how does that impact the pre-built market? So let's, uh, let's have a look. Starting with Amazon. Uh, I'll, I'll just search gaming PC. And uh, the first one that comes up is for $450. This is a sponsored one in a case that seems like it's got ventilation. Now it is a pre-built, so it may be debating us and that there's actually like a bit of perspex in front of the ventilation, which some companies like to do for some reason. Uh, but this has a 10-100 in it, UHD 630 graphics, eight gigs of RAM, 430. I mean, that's quite inexpensive for a pre-built, but I, I would not buy this for a gaming PC. It doesn't even have a GT710 in it. Uh, there's another one by the same company, Allied Gaming. It's the same PC, just in a different case. And other than that, it's a little bit cheaper. Okay. This option, which for 1,200, and this is US dollars, uh, you get an 11400F and a 6600, which is actually not a very good price for the hardware that we have in there. Because remember, the other day, I did a video on a Micro Center pre-built, which had a 12400 in it, so that's a newer version of that Intel CPU, a 6600, and it cost about $900. Although, if you go up the price ladder a little bit, you can get a Skytech Ryzen 5 3600 based system with a 3060 Ti in it for $1,300, and I mean, it does look pretty basic, and there's not much airflow going on there. Uh, it does say that it's got no bloatware on it, which I kind of would have to see to believe, to be honest. Viper Tech. Oh, this is an interesting configuration because it gives you a, a GTX 750 Ti, and then it's got an i5-3570 in it. So this seems a little bit like it's an old Dell Optiplex system that they dropped in a case and then called it a day. They are very vague about the internals of the system because the picture is very dark. And actually, that Skytech system that we looked at earlier looks like a great deal compared to the Strix system, which does have a better CPU in it, but it's just a 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, and it's one of these Asus cases that is not great for ventilation and stuff. And it's more. It says here, here, everything. I'm assuming that's talking about fan noise there. And back in the dark times, uh, someone asked, does this have the capped GPU or does it mine full power? So does it have an LHR GPU in it or not? And Batman responded saying it has full power. So you know that answer is true because it's Batman. Oh wow, look at this system. Allied Gaming Moab Behemoth PC. First off, amazing name. The case looks spectacular. It's at like a 45 degree angle and it looks all futuristic. Although, I don't think the airflow situation is very promising. There does seem to be some ventilation on the top of the system. Let's go over to Newegg and see what they're doing. We'll only look at Newegg for a little bit because, you know, there is some drama around them. I don't know. I don't know if we still remember the drama, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just look at them quickly to see how it stacks up compared to, uh, to Amazon. Oh, they actually sell Yeston waifu cards, which is pretty cool. You can get some uh, graphics card waifu booba action on Newegg now you don't have to go to aliexpress uh, but we will look at aliexpress in a bit and here you're getting again a 10 f which is a two generation old cpu at this point it's not a terrible cpu i mean you're getting eight cores and 16 threads but uh, it, it, it is an older cpu and an rtx 3070 which is decent for about a thousand five hundred dollars which this th these pcs seem like they're a better deal than the ones on amazon 
but uh, I don't know if these prices are, are really getting me too hot and bothered here. Ooh, you can get a terrible MSI pre-built with a 3060 in it and a 5600X for about $1,200. It is on sale, although you definitely shouldn't buy this system because it's immediately going to start blue screening. Although, actually, it has weirdly positive reviews. This is the most confused review ever. They're saying good build, but GPU was DOA. So the PC didn't work when it arrived, uh, but actually other than that, it's, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The pros, the components were very high quality and obviously built professionally. Massive hardware upgrade from my old rig. Cons, there is no SSD, so don't go looking for one. Upon inspection, there's an integrated device that appears to act like an SSD, but the system... I, I think they're confused about there being a partition that kind of splits the drive up. I think that's what's going on here. A computer is as advertised. I've grown to love the operating system Windows 10, uh, but it's actually Windows 11. And <laughs> an OS I distrust immensely. I feel you on that, Austin. Let's go look at Micro Center, actually. Micro Center. Board of Scandal site. Power spec. Oh, these are all shippable items. So let's go to an actual shop. Here is a power spec system with a 12700KF in it. We've got an RTX 3070 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM. Wow, they give you a lot of RAM with this system. And a terabyte. Oh, that case also looks pretty nice. Lots of airflow in the front. And it'll look like that inside. That is quite a dark picture, Micro Center. But I've had some experience with Micro Center pre-builds and it was, it was very well put together. The reviews are also very positive. So it is quite a lot of money, but it is a very high-end system. Let's see what other options they have. Damn, you can get an HP Pavilion with a 3060 in it for $850. Let's actually see what is an RTX 3060 going for on Micro Center's side. You can get them for about $430. The thing is, now that GPU prices are coming down, these pre-builds are looking much less compelling uh, because, you know, we don't need to desperately crawl to them begging for a GPU anymore. Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's see Best Buy. And then, after Best Buy, we'll look at some non-US sites. Oh, there's a new version of the HP Omen out. HP, ah, uh, what are you doing, man? Like... They've clearly heard complaints about temperatures and airflow and stuff, and their solution was, oh, let's just put a bit of glass in the front so that you can see that there are fans being choked out behind it. That's not gonna help! Why? W what is the point of changing the case design? To, yeah, what, whatever, that's, that's very disappointing. But we're getting a 12400F, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 3060 for about $1,300. Ooh, finally, a system with an AMD graphics card in it, which these like 6600 and 6600 XT GPUs are, are really good options at the moment. So it's nice to finally see a pre-built with one in them. We've got a 5700X, okay, with 16 gigs of RAM and a 6600 XT for, for $1,300. And uh, it looks like we've got airflow on the case. It's not a very good looking case, in my opinion, but wow, we've even got dual channel RAM. Does it, does it specify? 16 gigs of memory. It does not specify, but we see it in the picture so we can complain about it officially if we don't get it. This gaming PC is a good machine. I play games like COD. Okay, there you go. People tell me about curries a lot in the UK, okay? With curries, you can get an epic deal on a washing machine, but we're looking for gaming, gaming PC. Uh, the first thing that shows up is a Nitro 50 with a 1650 in it for about 680 pounds. Uh, oh, this is new. I don't actually recognize that. You've got a really pretty window that looks at your fans struggling, just like the new HP system, but for 2000 pounds, you are getting very restricted airflow. An i7, of, oh, it's a 12700, okay, that's good. And a, a 3080 with a lot of SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, okay. Here's a very, very expensive OEM crap box. It's the Orion 7000 and it's got a 3090 in it and a 12900K. Okay, this, this is looking better. We've got a Tornado R5 gaming PC. Uh, Horizon 5, we've got a 3060 in it, 
a bunch of storage. This is 1,250 pounds, and this is including tax, if I'm not mistaken, the correct way to display prices. And we've got some airflow. Okay, I, I can get behind this system. Okay, let's move over to AliExpress the best PC shopping site on the internet. Human hair wigs. Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. I don't, I don't want a wig. Oh, no way. I feel like I immediately have to buy this system. It is a Disney gaming PC from AliExpress. We've got a 12400F in it, which is a, a great CPU and then a 1050 Ti, which is a bit weird. How much more is it for the 1660? Oh yeah, I would get the 1660 Super version. That's gonna be more performance for not very much more money. <laughs> Look at the way that looks, that is amazing. That's the thing with AliExpress. Every time I go onto this site, I immediately see something I wanna buy without fail. It's a picture of a lady that's unlocked the game. That's very good for her. I'm sure she's excited about it. Uh, this is the Ibsen team. Do they build it or is this like an esports team that they sponsor? <laughs> I really want to buy that. Uh, but let's see. Oh, here's another thing that looks amazing. Look at that. Look at this thing. It's got the best looking power button I have ever seen on a gaming PC. It looks like it's all power button. It's got all copper thermal module. <laughs> AliExpress always delivers. What? 5,000. 800 Canadian dollars, but that is dollars for a system that would have been exciting like five, six years ago. 7700K with a GTX 1080 in it. It does look like a very impressive. Oh, that, that says Radian in it. The, there's a bunch of pictures of monitors for some reason, and then there's a there's that. And what what PC are you getting here? This is like, they, it, it looks like they just googled pictures of gaming PCs and used all of them in their marketing material. What is hap- what is- what is this one? That one looks really cool. It does look like it's gonna catch on fire, but how do we know what we're getting? Now when it comes to Ibsen gaming systems, their price to performance has stayed surprisingly steady over the last year and a half. Because earlier in the year when I bought one of these Ibsen systems for a video, it was about the same price. And instead of a 6600 XT, you were getting a 3060. So this should give you a bit more gaming performance actually. And you know, that's not too bad. It, it looks quite plain on the inside and I see, immediately see a problem. Uh, this may come only with a single stick of RAM, which, oh no, yeah, that's not a great looking interior of a system. Oh, this, this picture's got two sticks in it. Can we get a better indication? 16 gigs, it doesn't specify the, 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 the configuration though. And I think on that roller coaster of emotions that is AliExpress pre built shopping, uh, I think it's a good place to end the video. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will not be uploading for the next two weeks because Anna's sister is getting married and I'm going to, to UK town to, to go and be there for the wedding. Um, I will also be buying a PC there and doing a video on a, a UK PC. Uh, so subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. If you want some more David content in your life over the next two weeks, just watch the backlog. There's so many videos to choose from. And yeah, thank you for watching. And until two weeks from now, bye-bye.